Excuse me, when can I smoke? I'm sorry, sir. There's no smoking on board. No, when the no smoking sign turns off, I can smoke. No, there's no smoking on board. Well, I've smoked before. You mean like 20 years ago? Fine. Then why don't you open the doors and let me smoke outside? Okay. Hello, welcome aboard. <gasps> Hi. Yes, I know, sweetheart. That's why you need to study in school so you don't end up like that. She's right, sweetie. Make sure you study hard so you don't fly economy like your mom. Excuse me. I just want to say you're gorgeous. Thank you. She's all right. And who might you be? Her boyfriend. Uh, her now and every day that she's the most beautiful person on this planet before I throw you off the plane. You are the most beautiful person on this planet. Are you okay? Which seat was it? Sir, you're trash. What did you say? You're trash. Can't talk to me like that. In your hand. Oh. Ni hao. 안녕하세요. I'm Korean. That's how you say hello. Ni hao is Mandarin. I'm Korean, so it's 안녕하세요. Whatever, lady. Ni hao. Oh, you were making fun of me! <laughs> that was a good one. That was funny. Ah! Ah! Hi, what can I get for you today? Yes, I would like to have your most expensive champagne in only one glass. All right, and for your father? This is not, <laughs> this is not my father. I'm so sorry, I assumed he's your father because I heard you call him dad. Oh. <clears throat> In that case, uh, what will the gentleman have? For him, just the bill. Right. Miss, I'm so sorry. This is for first class passengers only. Oh, please, no. I, I, I matched with this guy on this dating app and he's in first class. Oh, how fun. It's Jail from BTS. Oh. Honey, he wouldn't be on a nap like this. He's a superstar. Can you please check for me then? If he's there, I'll let you in first class and I'll shave off an eyebrow. Spray? Ah! Excuse me, sorry to bother you, but uh, I was just wondering if, if you had anywhere that had maybe two empty seats. The seat is um, it's quite small and just it's just really uncomfortable. Oh my goodness, I know these seats are tiny. Um, I don't actually see two free seats, but... <coughs> but I know there's an empty seat in business. There's a bit more space there. I'll move you there. Hey, can I sit there too? No. stuck right now so uh, I'll get back to hey I'm on a call oh no ah stop oh. no wait 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 can I please get a diaper for my baby oh I'm sorry we don't have diapers on board you have no diapers what am I gonna do um well, I see another family over there with a baby. I can ask them for you. Maybe they can spare one. You know what? Forget it. I'll figure it out, okay? Can I just get the baby formula now so I can feed my baby? He's getting really hungry. Oh, we, we don't carry baby formula. What? It says meals are included in this flight. Yes, uh, regular meals. What am I supposed to do now? I think we're over at Walmart right now. I can drop you off. Hi, sweetie. Yes, Amma. Hello, welcome aboard. Hi. I want to be flight attendant. You do? Yes, because flight attendant so nice and fun and pretty and funny. I have cookie for you. You're so cute. Hold on a second, okay? So we're actually overbooked in economy and we were looking for some passengers to upgrade to business. Would you like to go? <gasps> wow, thank you very much. Jeannie, good job. Yeah. Excuse me, 
miss? Excuse me, miss. What? Your son keeps kicking the chair in front of him. And? And it's irritating for the passenger sitting there. Okay, so what do you want me to do about it? Could you tell your son to stop, please? Stop kicking the chair. Miss, he's still doing it? Look, if you want him to stop, you tell him. You want me to educate your child? Whatever, I don't care. I'm just trying to watch a movie. Hi, sweetheart. Do you and your mom want to go skydiving? Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Okay. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, hmm. Hmm. Yes. I mean, if you just want to tell me what you're looking for, I can help you find- Please don't touch anything. Sorry. Sorry. Do you have an electric toothbrush anywhere? Mm, no. An electric shaver, perhaps? No. Maybe a microphone? N no. Immersion blender. I don't even know what that is. Or maybe a remote control car, but instead of a car, it's an eggplant? Huh? Do you have any battery operated device? Battery. Oh, yeah. If you open up that little pouch, I have my vibrator. <laughs> Ma'am, that is illegal in our country. Excuse me, what? Please go see that officer over there. Am I going to jail? I left my book back at the airport. Sorry to hear that. Maybe you can call Lost and Found after we land. Can't you just turn the plane around? Oh, I'm sorry, we can't. We only do that for medical or other emergencies. <clears throat> oh. <clears throat> <clears throat> I can't breathe. I think I'm allergic to these crackers. <clears throat> Mary, can you grab the EpiPen? <gasps> What's up? Uh, EpiPen. Don't worry, miss. It's just a small needle that we jab into the side of your thigh and it'll help you with your allergic reaction. <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm good. <gasps> Hello, sweetheart. Uh, you shouldn't be here. Where are your parents? Annyeong <gasps> say you pretty lady. Pretty. Oh, oh, you're so sweet! Oh, you want snacks! Take whatever you want and let's go find your parents. Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry, I found your daughter over in first class and I gave her some snacks. I hope that's okay. Omo, thank you, Betty Machi. Miss, I think you're in my seat. Oh yes, uh, I need the extra leg space because of a medical condition. Do you mind sitting in my seat, 30B? I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm actually traveling with my family and we reserve the seat. I have a medical condition, I need this seat. Sir, I need you to keep moving. You're holding up the boarding process. I'm so sorry, but this lady's in my seat. Ma'am, can you please go back to your assigned seat? I will help you after. You want me to be in pain for the entire flight? You know what, it's okay, it's okay. I I'll go sit in your seat. Sir, that was really sweet of you. You know you didn't have to do that, right? Don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Here, enjoy these first class goodies. Let me know if you need anything else, okay? Could I get one of those snacks? No. Oh. Mm-mm. Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. I'm not sitting next to a child for four hours. It's okay. No problem. She very, very good girl. Uh, no cry. I speak English? Uh, you need to move me. Ma'am, this is a full flight. Can you please sit down? Jinia. Yes, Amma. 저번에 엄마가 하지 말라고 했던 거 지금 해도 돼. <laughs> I'm so sorry about this, but we've just run out of chicken, so we just have beef left. Oh, of course. Always me. It's always when it's my turn. I'm so sorry. It's really hard to predict what people want and unfortunately everybody wanted chicken today. You need to learn how to do your job properly. Like, how is this fair? How about for the next meal service? I'll let you choose first. Is there chicken in the next meal? No, it's a different meal. Oh my god. You can have my chicken. I didn't touch it. I'll just take the beef. Sir, that's so kind. 
kind of you. You didn't have to do that. Finally, one decent person on this plane. Excuse me, sir. They actually had some uh, leftover chicken in first class, so I just brought you some. Hello? Why didn't you offer that to me before? Oh, well, that's because you're a bitch. I think you're in my seat. Do you mind switching seats with my wife? We're on our honeymoon and we want to sit together. Okay, where's your wife's seat? That's my seat, thank you. That's an economy. No, I paid for business. Wow, we're on a honeymoon? Can't you show some kindness? Can I please have my seat? What seems to be the problem here? This guy said he was gonna switch seats and now he's taking it back. I never said I was gonna switch. He said he would switch with me. I actually took a look into your ticket and found out that you got a free upgrade and now you're trying to steal this passenger's seat. So I'm going to give you two options. One, both of you go to economy or two, get off this flight, rather on your own or through security. No, we're not moving. Security, can't do this, I'm gonna steal. Have a nice day. There's not enough space in this middle seat. Can you please move me? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. We're actually fully booked in economy. Um, uh, unless uh, any of these passengers want to switch with you. I asked. They said no. I don't understand why I wasn't given a choice. Well, most likely these passengers booked early, so they got to choose their seats first. I see a seat over there in business. Can I just sit there? Uh, you need to pay for business class? You know what? Just get me someone in charge. Okay, uh, let me just go get the purse, sir. Is there a problem here? <laughs> that flight attendant over there was just so mean to me. She was so rude. I was like, told her I was claustrophobic, and I just asked if I could sit over business. And she said, no, and she was just so mean to me. And I just... uh, are you rubbing your eyes with an onion? <sighs> are you okay? Oh, I just, I just have a stomach ache. I, I think it was the burrito. I do, I should have had the cheese. Babe, you don't look so good. <laughs> Excuse me, can you help us please? Hello, what can I help you with? My insides feel like they're bellowing. Let me go get some help. We have a medical emergency, please. Is there a doctor on board? I'm a doctor. I'm just going to check your vitals, okay? What's wrong? I'm going to need you to take your pants off. My, my pants? You're going into labor. Lady, lady, you're psycho. I'm not pregnant. You're having a baby. Right now. Posh! Posh! Congratulations, it's a boy! You had no idea you were pregnant? No, had no idea. You lost my luggage! Oh, hello. I didn't lose anything, but I will do my best to assist you. May I please get your passport and your luggage tag? You, the company, same, same. Thank you. Okay, yep, your luggage is missing. That's what I said! Did you pick up your luggage when you transferred flights? No, you're supposed to send it to my final destination, which is here, but it's not here. Actually, because you flew internationally, you had to pick up your bags, clear customs, recheck your bags for this domestic flight. How was I supposed to know that? We do tell you when you check in and also prior to the plane landing. Well, if someone told me, I would have picked it up, but clearly no one told me. Let me just call the other airport and locate your bag, right? Hello, hi. I was wondering if you can help me locate a lost luggage. Great, uh, it's luggage tag A35456. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yes. Makes sense. Uh-huh, yeah, that's the one. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much. They found it? No, they couldn't find it anywhere. Your bag just disappeared. Poof. Did you buy insurance? Oh. Well, can they look harder? It has to be there. Luggage doesn't just get up and walk away on its own. something to snack on? I've noticed both you and your husband had nothing to eat. Oh no, thank you. And I don't want to wake up my husband. He's just had a really long week. Uh, I'm not hungry, but I am cold though. Can I please get another blanket? Of course. Here you go. Thank you. Are you sure maybe you want something warm to drink? I'm actually okay, but could you grab a green tea with milk and sugar for my husband when he wakes up though? Certainly, of course. Hey, just so you know, the passengers in 12 A and B had nothing to eat or drink this entire time. Oh, that gentleman? Yeah, the purchase said not to wake him. Oh, really? Okay, well, the wife, though, is awake, and she hasn't had anything to eat either. 
Oh, someone was sitting next to him? I didn't notice. Yeah, the lady next to him is his wife. You're finally awake. Your wife actually asked me to bring you that green tea. What do you mean, my wife? Your wife? Uh, I guess she went to the lavatories. Did you put milk and sugar in my green tea? Yes, I'm sorry, is that incorrect? Uh, your wife is the one that told me to do that for you. My wife passed away last week. I'm taking her home on this flight. <laughs> I'm sorry, uh, there, there was a lady that was sitting next to you. She said she was your wife and not to wake you up because you had a long week and to bring you a green tea when you do wake up and she was cold, she was chilly. So I gave her a blanket. She's in cargo, but I believe you. This is how I drink my green tea. And I, I think she's just worried about me. That's so sweet. Stop! I don't think my wife came on board. She's not in her seat. What do you mean, sir? We got into a fight at the airport and then she just walked off and I thought she boarded the plane, but she's not in her seat. I'm sure she's on board, sir. The ground staff has confirmed everyone is on board. Have you checked the toilets by any chance? I did! I looked everywhere. She's not in the airplane. Please don't take off. Don't worry, sir. We won't until we locate your wife. Hey, what's going on? He says his wife is missing. He thinks she didn't board the plane. What? Oh, she's on board for sure. There's no missing passengers. Can you just let the captain know about the situation and I'll just do a PA, okay? Oh my gosh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we are looking for a passenger right now. Could Anita Cox please make yourself known to cabin crew? Anita Cox, thank you. Excuse me, it's been like two hours. I'm gonna miss my connecting flight. This is all my fault. I should've just bought her the bag she wanted. Sir, the captain told us that we cannot delay this flight any longer. We have double checked to make sure that she is on this flight. Her ticket has been scanned, so she's definitely on here. Unfortunately, we will be offloading her luggages. Would you like for us to offload your luggage as well? Offload my luggage too, please. Certainly, sir. What we need to do now is actually check every single person's boarding pass just to double check again. Dude, leave her! Ma'am, as you heard from the announcement, we are looking for a missing passenger. May I please check your boarding pass? Ma'am, we've been looking for you for the last two hours. Didn't you hear the public announcement? Your husband is very worried about you. So? I didn't want to talk to him. Ma'am, you've delayed this aircraft for two hours. Many of these passengers will miss their connecting flights because of you. So? That's not my problem. You know what? You're right. You shouldn't be our problem either. Till death do us part, baby! Ah! What'd they say? <laughs> My god, is there a doctor on the plane? I'm on season five of Grey's Anatomy. Anyone else? I guess you're close enough. In case we blow up in the air, there's parachutes, right? Yes, of course. But it's just for the crew. What? I'm just joking. Oh, thank goodness. We don't have any. What? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> hey, sweetheart, are you okay? Are you lost? Where are your parents? You can see me. What? You're not supposed to be able to see me. Um. Jiggy! Papa Jamaica, buy you money to make it your bed! Did your face get in the way of my bags? Did you finish with your beverage service? Yes, I did exactly what you said. I served coffee and tea along with a cream, a fresh milk, sugar, and hold up. We don't have fresh milk. No, we do. I found some in the fridge. From the fr Oh my god, that's breast milk! Cows have breasts? Excuse me, may I please get the milk I stored here earlier? <laughs> Bing! Hello, can I help you? Hello, 
Can I have a hooker? A, a what? Can I have a hooker too, please? Pardon me? Hooker! Hooker! Yes, a hooker for my coat. Oh, a hanger! Welcome aboard! Hi. Um... What? Oh! Are you okay? Your titties are pulsating. Okay, fine. Yeah, I need to see your papers. Excuse me, sir. You need to put your laptop away. We're landing soon. That rule is stupid. Sir, it's for your safety. Don't worry. I'll be fine, okay? Sir, if you don't care about your safety, that's totally up to you. What I do care about is in case of a rough landing, your laptop will smash the face of the person next to you. Oh my god, that passenger in my section is so annoying. Why, what's up? Every single time I bring her an item, she asks for something else. It's like within the last five minutes, I brought her ten items. Hello, there's like other passengers on here. Why can't you ask for it all at once? Oh, sweetie, you need to be slower. That way, they know you take forever, so they're going to ask for it all at once. Tales from the skies, let's go. Which country are we flying over right now? Ma'am, we're going from LA to New York. Yeah, I know. The cities are both in the United States. So, so we're flying over the United States. Oh. Where are the 20 meals that were here? I gave it out already. How did you give them out if I have the vegetarian list right here? Huh? M, it was labeled special meals. Yeah, I gave it to the passengers that were really nice and, and I thought was special. Oh no. What do we do now? Just pick out the chicken from the regular meals. That's disgusting. You can't touch people's food. Do you want to deal with 20 hangry passengers? Call this chicken picking. <laughs> What does it mean, Oma? 나쁜 사람들한테만 하는 거야. 하지 마. This is my second time asking for a refill. I just need to serve the rest of the passengers on the first drinks, and then right after I'm done, I'll bring you your refill. I don't care. Just get me my drink within the next five minutes, or I'm filing a formal complaint. Hey, lady. True tales from the skies. Let's go. <clears throat> Ma'am, what are you doing? I'm trying to open the window so I can throw up my baby's diaper. Ma'am, we're on a plane. I know. What's your point? And even if we weren't on a plane, that's still messed up. So please, just give me the diaper. The passenger 40C was like rude to me for no reason. Hey, I know. This job is hard sometimes. <clears throat> is this funny to you, Lindsay? Hey, I just want to say sorry for being rude to you earlier. What did you say to him? I just told him if he doesn't apologize to you for being an ass, and I'm going to share this photo of him that I found with his pants down on every single screen on this plane. But that's not true. He doesn't know that. Our captain, Eric, and our first officer, Vanessa, would like to first thank you for choosing to... Excuse me, did you say Vanessa? Yes, first officer, Vanessa. Our pilot's a woman. Yes, Vanessa's a woman. No, I don't feel safe having a woman fly this plane. She has over a thousand hours in flight experience. She's more than capable of getting you there safely. No, you need to do something about this. This is not right. Certainly, sir. Ah! My apologies for the delay. I was just taking out the trash. Pilots are so hot. I'm going to try to date one. You don't need to. You're new. They're coming for you. What do you mean? They like the newbies. It's true. You have a smell. Fresh. That can't be true. Maybe. Let's see. Who here has been with a pilot for six months of flying? Be honest. Ooh. Hey, our 23 and me results are out. How about I read yours and you read mine, okay? Okay. All right. So you're 36% French and German, 15% British, 
51% Finnish, 37% Filipino, and 20% Korean. That is so cool. That is cool. What's my um, it says you're 99% Korean. Okay, what's my 1%? Aho. Bing. Hello, what can I help you with? The plane is shaking way too much, like I almost spilled my coffee. And this plane is so noisy. It's like, I can't even hear my friend. So the shake is coming from the turbulence that we're just flying through right now. And um, the, the noise is coming from the engines. Okay, then just turn off the engines. Hello, lost and found? Yeah, um, I found a baby on the plane. I'm here. You forgot your baby? Forget? No! I left him there on purpose so that I can take my bags to the gate because I can't carry both at the same time. So you left your baby? Yeah. So you left your baby alone? Yes! So you left your baby alone without telling anyone? How many times do I have to say yes? Are you stupid or something? Are you? <laughs> Hi, may I help you? Yeah, can you please do something about the crying baby? Certainly. Um, excuse me, pardon me. Sorry, um, we've just been receiving some complaints from the other passengers. If you don't mind um, not crying, I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you so much. Miss, we need to inspect your bag. Oh, okay, sure. What is this? That's my favorite show. Pornographic material is illegal in this country. No, 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 no. It's not what you think. I need to report you. Oh, shit. What's going on over here? She's trying to bring pornographic material into our country. Sex in the City? I love that show. Samantha's my favorite. She's good to go. <gasps> oh, pain them say, oh, body up, oh. You smell bad. What? Oh my! No, no! So sorry. Yeah, you could get mad at me, Oh you just said his feet so stinky. Oh. <laughs> okay, so none of you guys are gonna do this. So I'm gonna do it. Okay, we all took the same training class. It's gonna be fine. Hi, you're doing great. Okay. Um. Yeah. So I think it's time to push. So we're gonna push. Can you guys like, okay. All right, ready? All right, push, push, push. Excuse me, ma'am, what are you doing? I'm looking for the toilet. That is the door to the outside. The toilet is right over here. Thank you. Uh, that's a wall and uh, the toilet is a door next to it. Oh. No, no, you, you push. Push the door. No, push. It won't open. I got it for you. Go ahead. Help, I'm stuck. Things you didn't know about cabin crew. Part 10, let's go. Everyone always thinks that you need to speak multiple languages in order to become cabin crew. It's definitely an asset to know multiple languages, but it's not always required. Most airlines do require you to be fluent in English. All you need to do is check the airline's career page and check their qualifications. For Emirates Airlines, you just need to speak English. Truth time. So when I first applied to be cabin crew, I lied on my resume saying that I was fluent in Korean because I thought you needed two languages. And of course, I'm not fluent in Korean. And then I was stressing out because sometimes they do test you, but lucky for me, they didn't test me. So yeah, moral of the story is don't lie. Ma'am, please keep your mask on for the entire flight. I recently had knee surgery, so I'm exempt from wearing a mask. Sorry, what? I had a knee surgery. Do you mind showing me where your knee is? What kind of stupid question is that? I just want to confirm something. Here? Oh, thank God. I thought you didn't know what a knee was. That is perfectly fine, ma'am. Your knee is exempt from wearing a mask, but your face still needs one. Steven, can you please give the lady in 15 see her breakfast? Good morning, ma'am. Here's your omelet. Is there anything else I can grab you? No. Bring me mother. Mother? I I'm sorry. I, I don't understand. Mother! Bring me mother! 
Whose mother? Your mother? My mother? Mother Teresa? I don't know what you want me to do, lady! Ma'am, that's an omelette. Steven, you're not supposed to yell at the passengers! It's not my fault she's not making any sense! Mother! The brain me mother! Mother! She's talking about the egg's mother? She wants chicken! Mother I'm gonna be late for my connecting flight. Is there another way out? I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do. That's the only way out. Well, can't you tell all these people to sit down so I can get out or open that door? I can't. There's no jet bridge at this door. I don't need a jet bridge. It's fine. Just open it. You need it to get off. We're not in the sky. I can get down. It's like a long way down. Lady, just open the stupid door right now. I need to go. I'm so- No. I miss this flight. It's all gonna- You can't- gonna refund me? You gonna refund me? Is that what you- Okay, fine. Hey, do you have a ladder or something? Oops. Ah! Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part one, let's go! Have you ever heard of the game Airport Roulette, where you pretty much just pack your bags, go to the airport, and get on the next flight to- Anywhere? We have a ship called Airport Standby where we will pack our bags, both winter and summer clothes, head to the airport lounge, and wait. This shift can result in one of three ways. Nobody calls in sick, so I just take my bags and go back home. Get called in for a turnaround flight where I just leave my bags at the airport, go for my shift, go there and come back. Or get called in for a layover flight where I might end up sun tanning on the beaches of Mauritius. Or freeze while touring Japan. Pretty cool, right? Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part... I forget. I've mentioned before that one of the ways that we get paid is through allowance. When we check into our hotel, we receive an envelope. And in the envelope, you'll find cash in the local currency. How much cash, you ask? Well, that depends on our destination. The allowance is meant for your food, so if you're staying in an all-inclusive resort, you get nothing. For everywhere else, they'll calculate what's a reasonable amount to spend on your meals and that's how much you will get. Most I ever received when I was on layover in Toronto, Canada for three days was $300. Hi, can I get a sandwich please? That'll be $10 please. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, can I help you with anything? Oh no, I'm just waiting for the toilet. Just let me know if you need anything, okay? Oh, that's so sweet! I'm actually crew, don't worry about it. Wait, your crew? Did you pay for lunch? Yeah, I had the sandwich, it was pretty good. No, mm-mm, no. You do not pay on my flight, okay? Here, here's ten dollars. <gasps> Thank you so much. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part five, let's go! Did you know that many new hires quit during training because it's just that difficult? After you are hired, you'll attend an aviation training college where you'll spend five to eight weeks training to be cabin crew. Learning about the service is the easy part. You will learn how to deal with medical emergencies and use simulations to handle pretty much any emergency. I'll give you an example of my least favorite time during training. You see this thing? We practice emergency landings on water. So yeah, in our clothes, we go down the slide into freezing waters and we try to survive together. We also go to makeup school. Men included. No, you can't use this. It's the wrong shade of red. Things you didn't know about cabin crew. Part 22. Let's go. At restaurants and hotels, people usually tip for great service. So do cabin crew get tips for great service? For Emirates, we're not allowed to receive cash tips. However, we do receive gifts from time to time. I've personally received lots of snacks, perfume, and even a gold bracelet. However, there are exceptions to this no cash tip rule. A colleague of mine had the chance to fly with Sheikh Ahmed bin Said al Maktoum and his family. He ended up tipping the captain, first officer, and the purser, the equivalent of $5,000 USD each, as well as each of the cabin crew, $1,000 cash. And of course they can accept this because, well, he owns Emirates. Uh, excuse me, what are you doing? I'm making iced towels. <gasps> no, 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 no. The standard is hot towels. You cannot give iced towels. It's like a thousand degrees outside. If I give them a hot towel, they're gonna throw it at me. I am the senior on this flight. Follow my orders. Okay. Would you like a towel? Thank you. Oh, this towel's hot. It's like a thousand degrees in here. What the hell's the matter with you? Idiot. Ah! The passengers are angry. I just had a great idea. Let's use ice towels. Everybody, ice towels. Bitch. Oh my god. It feels nice, right? I have been doing a thousand squats a day. I'm so flattered that you've noticed. Actually, I don't think you got it right the first time. I think you need to really get in there and squeeze it. You don't understand how nice it is. Like, it's really firm. Squeeze it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it.
happens to you, we have the coronavirus. Pardon me? Yeah, you brought it over from wherever you're from. Canada? Asia! What the hell is happening? You know, you Asians deserve all the hate for what you did to the world. Ma'am, you're right. I am so sorry that I was born Asian. And to show you how sorry I am, I have a gift for you. Please follow me. Here, put this on. Give me one second here. What are you doing? Oh. What? All right, I think you're all set. Bye, bitch. Yeah, Okay, mom. Excuse me, you so handsome boy. Thank you. You single? Uh, yes. My daughter, she single too. She okay. Kill me. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 16. Let's go. So we're flying to all of these countries in all different time zones. So how do we deal with jet lag? A lot of crew members use melatonin, but I personally don't like popping pills like candy. This is what I did to battle jet lag. If I arrive in a country in the evening, it's very easy. I just go to sleep right away and then I get to tour in the morning. This is the hard part. If I arrive in a country in the morning, I will not go to sleep. I would check into the hotel, get changed and go out right away so that I don't fall asleep in the hotel. And then I usually return around five or six and then fall asleep then. This one time I had a really long and difficult flight that when I came home I slept for 30 hours and then when I woke up I didn't know what day or time it was and you know what, I really feel like I might have died. Are you new or something? I've never seen you before. Yes, this is my first shift. First shift? Wow, exciting. Would you be a doll and take this? to the passenger sitting in 13C? 13C, okay. But we don't have row 13. What? What do I do? I can't find 13C. I don't want to get in trouble. So you're saying that you gave the cream puff to the passenger in 13C? Yes, I gave it to 13C. Story time of my favorite flight experience! It happened on my very last shift ever with Emirates. It was an airport standby shift and I was secretly hoping not to get called in for a flight. But of course they called my name and I was super bummed out. She told me I was going to Johannesburg, South Africa. I've been there several times so wasn't too excited about it. Then she smiled at me and told me to have a good time. I got confused and tried to think what was happening in Joburg at the time. And then it hit me. The 2010 World Cup was happening there. So then I'm on the flight and the purser hands the crew these. Tickets to the World Cup game, courtesy of Emirates. So when we landed in Joburg, we got decked out in World Cup gear. This was my look. Was surprised again with box seats to the game. We had the time of our lives. We partied. I got trashed. And flew back the next day, most likely still drunk. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I was. Because I served the passengers looking like this. And that was my last flight ever as cabin crew. Miss, hi. Would you be a doll and put my bag up for me? Thanks. Let me help you find some space. No, no, I need for you to put my bag up for me. You see the bag is really heavy and I don't want to hurt my back. Oh, if your bag is too heavy for you, most likely it's too heavy for me. Isn't this your job? Actually, our job is to ensure the safety of everyone on board. Yeah, customer service is your job too. And as a paying customer, I'm extremely upset right now that you are not assisting me with my bag. You are absolutely right. Let me get someone to assist you with your bag. Uh, Lucy, Lucy, could you grab me a luggage tag? I'm just going to offload an overweight bag. Oh, don't worry about it. I got it. Due to an overbooking, we're looking for one volunteer to take the next flight out tomorrow and in exchange, we'll be giving you a $200 travel credit. $300. $400. $500. Hello, I'll take the next flight for $1,000 cash. $750. Yeah, I don't think there's anyone else. You see, they all got places to go, people to see. 
I'm alone and depressed, so I might as well make some bank out of my situation. Know what I'm saying? Fine. Thousand dollars, travel credit, no cash. Seriously? Oh. <clears throat> and I would like a hotel because the flight is tomorrow and I need a place to stay. That's reasonable. And I would like to be upgraded to first class on my flight tomorrow. Okay. And I would like a uh, massage voucher for the stress that this flight change has caused Don't me. push it. I'll take it. Excuse me, I'm a gold member? Wow, thank you so much for being a loyal customer for our airline. We really appreciate it. And as a loyal customer, why am I stuck here in economy and not automatically upgraded to business class? Oh, yes, we do provide complimentary upgrades to our gold members, uh, but it is based on availability, and unfortunately, today is a full flight. Is that right? Well, let's check the official website then, shall we? Oh, well, look at this. Gold members automatically qualify for a complimentary upgrade. <gasps> and uh, if you just keep reading, it does say right there, based on availability. Oh my God, this airline is trash. Uh, I'll be more than happy to bring you some snacks from business. What would make me happy is a better seat, not some crummy pretzels in a bag. Well then, our patio seating just opened up if you're interested. Oh, 저녁 시간이네. 야, 엄마, 고기 없는 걸 시켜줘. 엄마, you know how to speak English. Can you order it yourself? 영어 잘 못하니까 그렇지. How do you order when I'm not around then? 기집애. 알았어, 엄마 갈게. Oh, hello. Hello, what would you like for your meal? Please, I have rice and no chicken. I want to... Uh, do you just have anything that doesn't have any meat in it? Oh, are you a vegetarian? No, I am Korean. Yes. Thank you so much. I'll see you soon. Oma! Oma! Ah, where? Oma, I got the job with Emirates. What? Emirates? Yes, Emirates. Remember I applied to be a flight attendant last month? Oh, 엄마의 골프 같이 치는 친구의 친구 딸이 에미리츠에서 일하는데. 엄마, who cares? I'm literally moving to Dubai, to the Middle East in like two weeks. For like years. Maybe forever. I don't know. 뭐? Two weeks? 야, 가려면 빨리 빨리 가지. 왜 two weeks를 기다려? No. Uh, hello? There must be some mistake. I always sit in first class and this is economy. Oh, let me see. Um. Yeah, it does say you booked an economy ticket, so that's correct. I don't book my own ticket. You should follow up with the person that booked your ticket then. Do you not know who my husband's best friend's son is? I really don't. He's the CEO of No One Gives a Shit Incorporated. I, uh... John Smith? Ma'am, I don't know who he is. <laughs> they are Recommend? There's something really loud in this plane and it's giving me a headache. Could you please figure out what it is? I don't know, it could be the engines or something and just do something about it? I, I could give you earplugs if you'd like. No, 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 I have my own earplugs. I can still hear it. The sound is actually the engines. Okay, so then can you tell the captain to turn it off? What are you looking at? Pay attention! <laughs> Boop. Hey, captain! So. There's a passenger complaining that the engines are too loud. Can you please turn him off? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Hello, I'm checking in. Thank you. And will you be checking in any luggage today? Just my backpack. All right, so there will be a backpack fee. And I noticed you're wearing a jacket. So a jacket charge. No, I'll just take it off and I'll just put it into my backpack. <laughs> All right. 
right, so a jacket and a backpack charge, and will you be wanting a window or an aisle seat? Oh, uh, okay, uh, aisle please. Great, so there'll be an aisle seat B. No, just give me whatever seat is free. Only the middle seats by the toilets are free, but they're all taken, so. So I have to pay regardless. That's correct, so aisle fee, and I'll be printing your boarding pass, so print fee. It's okay, I I'll just use my phone. Right, internet fee then, and will you be using the toilet during the flight? I don't know, maybe. You never know, you should get it just in case. So, there'll be a toilet fee, flush fee, toilet paper usage fee, and we also have cleaning charge, odor removal fee, and convenience fee. So will you be needing a seatbelt? Oh, come on, that's mandatory! <laughs> no. Uh, give me the seatbelt. Smart choice. So with the seatbelt fee and safety charge, a total comes to $1.2 million. Hi, you ready to go? Hi, yes, please. Um, I just want to buy this. Thank you. Okay, that's going to be $7. Please go ahead. Oh, you don't need to wrap that. I can just put that in my... Don't worry about it. It's our company standard. No, really, I can just put it in... Oh. Seems like kind of a waste. Have a nice day. Hey, how was your first time flying alone? Good. Were the flight attendants nice to you? Yes, very nice. Good, can you let me talk to one of them? Because I just want to let them know I'm just going to be a little late picking you up. No, they busy right now. Busy? Doing what? They're supposed to be next to you at all times. Um, they talking to the police. Police? Is everything okay? What, what, what's that sound? That's the alarm. There's fire peoples and police and security running around. Oh my god, oh my god. Don't move, I'm almost there. I'm gonna come in to get you, okay? No, you can't come in. The airport is on lockdown. Why? They're looking for someone right now. Who? Me. Sugar babes? Hello? Hey, is Johnny there? No, he's not here right now. Who's this? Oh, this is Chris, his girlfriend. <laughs> girlfriend? What are you talking about? This is his wife speaking? Oh, hell no. We've been dating for the last eight months. Excuse me? We've been married for the last six years. You have got to be kidding me. You tell Johnny I'm not helping him pay for his mortgage anymore, okay? Tell him I want everything I bought him back, like his Tesla and his product gift certificate I just gave him. And you can tell him I'm removing his ass off my Netflix account. <laughs> Girl, I'm just kidding. I'm his sister. Yo, I'll tell Johnny you called, okay? Uh, welcome to the family. Bye. Ma'am, this area is for first class passengers only. Oh, I, I just wanted to use the toilet. The other one has a long line. I'm so sorry about that. They actually pay a premium so that they can use those toilets. Oh, okay. I say hello to my friend in first class. Hmm? Ma'am, I know you're the same lady from before, just with glasses and with probably one of the worst Korean accents I've ever heard. Jeez, I'm cute. Oh, I hurt my back. I need to lie down. Can you let me lie down in there? You dropped a 20. Where? Oh. I said no ice. Seriously, you have one job to serve and you can't even get that right. My God. How are you still employed? My apologies. I'll make you another one. And wait another 15 minutes for you to take your time to bring it to me? Forget it. Whatever. Oh, sorry, Betty Machi, my daughter. Oh, 
Say sorry. I'm sorry. What the? <sighs> Next! Hello. Okay, so I understand that you had in your possession a... <clears throat> a remote control car, but instead of a car, an eggplant. Is that correct? Yes. Were you aware that these items were illegal in the UAE? No. Passport. <laughs> you do realize that I can find you for this. what you're bringing into the country. Enjoy your stay. Thank you. You need to wear your mask for the entire flight. Oh, I'm vaccinated, so I don't need my mask. Uh, let me get my vaccination card. That's wonderful, uh, but unfortunately, our airline still- You're not hearing me. I'm vaccinated. I just can't find my card right now, but you, I can prove it. I can prove it. It's, it's our policy, ma'am. You need to wear a- Huh? Found it. I'll prove it. Wait. Uh, just give me, give me one second here. Um, what are you doing? You know, when, you know, when you're vaccinated, you're, you're magnetized. Just give me a second. It works. I don't know what you're doing, but can you please stop and just wear your mask? If it doesn't work, I'll wear the mask, okay? Just, just hold on. Just hold on. Uh, uh, uh. Crap. Genie! So, is this your very last flight? Yep. And you got scheduled for an airport standby? Yeah. That sucks. Eh, it is what it is. So technically, I have the power right now to send you anywhere in the world for your very last shift. Your glasses are so nice. Thanks. Well, I've decided to send you to Johannesburg, South Africa. Okay. You do know that the World Cup is being held there, right? Cool. And Emirates Airlines is the official sponsor for the World Cup. Okay. And Emirates gets box seats for every game. Okay, congrats to Emirates, I don't know. Oh my God. You're Emirates! The crew that flies to South Africa gets box seats for the World Cup game! What did he say? Enjoy your last flight. Only when I ain't in bed on my own. Myself. Kentana? Ta. Oh my so. Okay. Thanks, Amma. Do some party. Oh, where did you get your She's cute. I'm gonna go pick her up. What are you gonna say? Bro, come on. I know every single airline slogan out there. I'm just gonna whip out the one that she works for and then impress her. What airline does she work for? I mean, I can't really tell, but I got this. Wish me luck. Good luck. Hey, uh, did you just finish making the sky the best place on earth? No. Uh, <laughs> fly the friendly skies. Or... Come fly with me. Come fly, come fly away. The friendliest name in flight? No. Uh, world class worldwide. 
fly the American way? I don't think it's catch our smile. Virgin Atlantic, more experienced than our name suggests. Excellence in plight. What the fuck do you want? Spirit Airlines! I bought something online and it finally came. And yeah, a stupid ad just kept popping up and I was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna buy it, okay? It's a sign, I'm gonna buy it. So I'm gonna open it here with you guys first and try it on. It could be really good or really bad. Are you ready? So I don't know if you guys see my previous TikToks, but I always make fun of myself saying that I have a pancake butt. So I bought butt pads. <laughs> There is no way this is gonna work. You know, I'm gonna wear something tight and let's try this, okay? I'll be back. So this is me, no butt. Okay, have it on, ready? One, two, three, bam! Ooh, ooh! Yo, forget squats, I'm gonna show my husband. Oh, let's go. Beep, I got big foot in the cannot lie, ah! Happy Chinese New Year. I have a red envelope for each one of you. Well, why are you being so nice and generous all of a sudden? Well, giving you guys red envelopes actually brings me good fortune as well, so I'm actually just doing this for me. Only you can turn generosity into selfishness, but whatever! Yoink! Aw, thanks, Lindsay! A penny. The amount of money in there reflects how important you are in my life, so... <laughs> But it's an old bill, not a crisp new one, so it's only gonna bring you old luck. <laughs> Fine by me. Four hundred forty more dollars, which in Chinese means ultimate death. <laughs> Who cares what it means? I'll take the cash. Thank you so much. Watch out for that suitcase. <laughs> Genie. Hello, welcome aboard. No. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hello. Yes. Uh, can I help you with anything? Please take my coat and store it laying flat. Oh, uh, unfortunately, there's nowhere on the plane I can store it like that, but uh, you can fold it and you can put it in the overhead bins. F fold this? Fold this? My fur coat? Oh, okay. Well, I can check first class and see if there's any space in the coat closet there. And hang this with other coats? No. Do you know how much this costs? What you're gonna do is lay it flat in first class seats, okay? I saw some empty seats up there. I'm sorry, we can't give your coat a seat in first class, but you can put it in the overhead bins or underneath the seat in front of you. You are so rude and incompetent. Get me your supervisor. Hello, I am the purser of the plane. What my colleague here has just told you is our procedure. Your coat has now delayed the whole plane. You can either choose to put your coat away, or you and your coat may leave the plane. <clears throat> oh! Holy farts! You guys, look what I found in the lavatory! <gasps> How much is this? I don't know, but we should really do a PA to find the owner. Or we can keep it and split it. Lindsay! Just kidding. May I have your attention, please? If you have misplaced a watch and uh, <clears throat> uh, other items in the lavatory, please make yourself known to the crew right away. Thank you. Hey, I uh, think you found my watch. Wonderful. Can you please verify the brand of watch? Um, a Rolex. Okay. If we find your Rolex, we'll let you know. Excuse me. I I left my watch and some money in the toilet. Can you please verify how much money and the brand of watch? I left it on the sink. It was a uh, Casio watch and $20,000 cash USD. Here you go. You should take better care of this. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for flying with us. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. I just wanted to thank you again for returning those items. It was our family's life savings and we're just moving to another country to have a better life for myself and my children. So thank you so much again. Thank you. Yo, we have an A-list celebrity sitting in the last row of economy and the passengers are going crazy. No way. They didn't tell us in briefing. 
window. Who is it? Good morning, ma'am. It's such an honor to have you on board today. Are you traveling by yourself? Uh, yes, I am. Just checking to see if you're okay. Um, if you would like more privacy, I can check if there's space in business class for you. Thank you so much for your kind offer, but I really want to sit here if I'm not causing too much trouble. I'm actually traveling on a mission trip and they sent me this ticket and I really, really want to honor their gift. And sitting in business class and receiving special treatment just doesn't sit right with me on this trip. I hope you understand. I understand and respect your decision. I'm a huge fan. Yo, those celebrities are taking half of the economy. Oh, it's because they're on their missionary trip, so they need the celebrities and their crew. Oh, that makes sense. Hello, sir. Can I help you with anything? Oh, hey. You know who I am, right? Yes. Yes, I do. Okay, cool. So as you know, I'm going on a mission trip, so I need to be well rested. And economy is so uncomfortable, and people are just bothering me with autographs. So I'm just going to chill here, if that's okay with you. Certainly, sir. I'm just going to go check to see how much it'll be to upgrade you to business, okay? Uh, Merry Christmas, everyone! I know it sucks we're, like, working today, but I think we can still have some fun. How about we play Secret Santa with things we find on the plane? Yeah, let's do it! Okay, pick a name. We'll meet back in 30 minutes. I got you, Heather. Leftover first class chocolates. Merry Christmas. Oh, thanks. I, I got you too. No way. How fun. I thought you meant buy something from the duty free cart, so I got you skincare. Holy crap. These are so expensive. Thanks. My turn. Merry Christmas, Lindsay. Bish, I love you. You know me so well. Are those from our bar cart? Because if you get caught with those when we land, you're going to get fired. Uh, that's why I get rid of the evidence. And here's your gift. <laughs> Seat 7A. Can I help you? Are you with anybody? No, I'm alone. Meet me in the toilet. And that's how I met your father. Ma'am, is there anything at all that I can do to help your child feel more comfortable? Uh, is she in pain? Um, I have some coloring books, uh, a snacks, you name it, anything you want. Oh no, she, she just has behavioral issues. She's throwing a tantrum because she wants to watch Coco Melon. I have an iPad. I'll lend it to you and I'll uh, give you free Wi-Fi so you can watch Coco Melon. No, it's okay. She needs to learn that she can't get whatever she wants by throwing tantrums like this. Will she eventually stop crying soon? Probably not until she gets her Coco Melon. Hmm? This is an eight-hour flight with over 400 people. Would it be okay, please, if you could just make an exception just this one time? Absolutely not. I don't even know why you're making such a big deal out of this. Like, everyone's watching the movie anyways. Okay, all right, but can you please just have her stop jumping on the chair and kicking the seat in front of her? Listen, she's just a child, okay? Children act this way. This is what they do. Everybody should understand that you can't control a child. Excuse me, do you think you just watch her for a second? I'm just going to run to the toilet. Of course. your seat to someplace more comfortable. Please follow me. Oh, great. You're almost there, right this way. Duty free, anyone? Duty free? Oh, great. Can I please see, I don't know, makeup, skincare, perfumes? These are our most popular products, so you should definitely check these ones out. They're very, very good. Uh, we also have some of these. Oh, I'm sorry, you're not supposed to open them? Oh, that's nice. Can I actually see what makeup you have there? Yes, we have lots of makeup if you wanted to see Ooh. them. 
Oh, look at this wand. It's see nice. Them. See them, not use them. What a them. nice color. It looks different on the skin, though. So let's take a look. Oh, it's not nice. That's not a tester. Do you have any perfume? Yes, we have perfume as well, but you can't really smell it. <laughs> oh, oh, no, not, not, not what I like. No. Okay, look, I'm so sorry, but there is no sampling of our products. I think you misunderstood me. I'm buying everything. You, you, you want to buy the entire cart? <laughs> You're fine with us. Have a nice day. Hi, thank you for everything. Don't forget to take your duty-free items you purchased. Oh, this is all I wanted. You can just like throw the rest away or whatever. Bye. Oh! Hey, can I take these? Well, nothing in this manual says we can't take a passenger's trash. Yeah! Oh my, you took out that water from before, right? Aw. Ma'am, I need to inspect your luggage. No problem. Not allowed. Oh! What is this? Oh, that's my pee. Oh, happy pee. Make me pee very, very nice. Oh, really? Well, they're not labeled or in its containers, so I don't know what this is. Oh, no, no, no problem. They're not drugs. Oh my, you can't say that word here. Where? I said not drugs. Yeah, I'm gonna get this checked. Great, now we're gonna be late. Could have bitten me in the way. Ah! Oh, man, why would you bring that? It's not what you think. It's a massage. So it's exactly what I think it is. You use peel very nice, no stress. Face roller, it's, it's a face roller. Interesting design I decided to go with. You get to one, I show you how to use it. Oh, ma, please stop. We will now begin our boarding process for flight 312 with service to Vancouver. Please check your boarding passes and approach the gate only when your zone is called. Thank you. Excuse me, I'm oh. in zone one. We will begin with our pre-boarding process. If you're sitting in first or business class, you can board now. We now welcome our super elite shining bright like a diamond world members to board now. If there are any families with young children, you may board now. Ugh, they're not sitting next to me. Members of BCAA, CAA, ICBC, STD, UTI, ISIS, ABCD, EFG, you may board now. I'm an STD member! Military personnel in uniform may board now. Thank you for your service. If there is an undercover air marshal, you can board now. No one's going to show he's undercover. Animals traveling alone can board now. What? Those that ate in and out today, you can board now. What does that have to do with anything? Do you have a problem with in and out? Because it's delicious. And I'm holding the power. What? Now boarding the mentally unstable and depressed. Mentally unstable and depressed. You can board now. <laughs> Not you. What? Why? You look too happy. Not anymore. If there are any aliens, you may board now. Oh my. Aliens don't exist. We will now begin boarding zones. Finally. Zone five. No, no, no. Zone one is first. We board the back first. Five. Good afternoon, sir. We're starting our meal service now. Would you care for something to no. drink? Get me another server. Is there a problem, sir? I refuse to be served by an Asian. I'm sorry. I'm actually in charge of this section, so it will be me serving you, sir. You can stop talking to me now because I don't understand Asian, so just get me your supervisor. Certainly, sir. Hello, you requested to speak to me? The server can't even speak English, and I need someone that can understand me, so can you just send me someone else? Sir, all of our crew speak English, and you are sitting in her section, so you will be served by her. I don't want an Asian serving me, all right? I don't know if anyone has ever told you this, sir, but... Uh... You're, you're Asian. What does that matter? 
Okay, well, your request is denied. My colleague over here will continue to serve you because this indeed is her section. If you have a problem with that, I can tell the captain to turn the plane around so we can offload you. You will further be blacklisted off this airline, so what would you like to do? Fine, I just won't eat or drink anything then. <coughs> Sir, would you like chicken or beef for your meal? Still at it? All right, all right, okay. <coughs> Sir, would you like a snack or a drink? Are you sure? Because this flight is 16 hours, and if you don't, oh, oh, oh okay, okay. <coughs> Sir, we're serving dinner now. Are you sure you don't want anything? Okay, please, at least have some water. You're, you're looking a little bit, uh, oh, okay, you know what? I give up, I give up. <coughs> Thank you, I hope you enjoyed your flight. Have a nice day. Hey, where's that mean guy? I didn't see him leap yet. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't seen them. Sir? Whoop. Excuse me, ma'am, you just need to keep your mask on. Yeah, no thanks. Well, um, you need to keep your mask on, please. I can't breathe? Do you want me to die? No, of course not, but hey, good. Okay. Uh, there's a passenger that's refusing to keep her mask on. What? Okay, let me talk to her. Strategy one, be informative. Excuse me, ma'am, our airline policies clearly state that all passengers need to wear a face mask for the duration of the flight. Yeah, like I told your little friend earlier, I have a medical condition. I can't breathe, so I don't need to wear a mask, okay? I'm sorry to hear that. May I please see your doctor's note? I don't need a doctor to tell me I can't breathe. I'm telling you that I have difficulty breathing. When you first booked your ticket and when you checked in for this flight, you knew about our policies. You want to talk about policy? Your company made me take the, the vaccine and now the government is tracking me everywhere I go. That's what you guys made me do. And now you want me to wear a mask? That doesn't even make any sense. Nobody forced you to get the vaccine, man. We just require a mask. Especially Jack and God knows what. See, I'm vaccinated. Uh, that's a boba stamp card. It doesn't matter, okay? I'm vaccinated, so I can't get COVID. I can't give any of you guys COVID, so just, like, leave me alone. Uh, yeah, she won't listen to me either. Guys, come on. Didn't you pay attention in training? I got this. Strategy 2, Ultimate Customer Service. Excuse me, ma'am? Oh my god, what? Well, first, like to apologize that we are making you wear these masks. I know they are so uncomfortable. I, I hate them so much as well. I can barely breathe in it as well. But unfortunately, this is our company policy and we are just doing our job. And I would really appreciate it if you could just wear your mask just for the next couple hours. Can you please? No. Oh, no. That didn't work. Ugh. Amateurs, I got it. Strategy three threat. Hey lady, put on your mask. Excuse me? I said, put on your mask now. You can't talk to me like that. You disrespect my colleagues? Absolutely I can talk to you like that. Children behave better than you. That's embarrassing. Oh wow, and now you're comparing me to a child? Oh, that would be a compliment for you. Now put on your mask. Or what? What are you going to do? You're going to strap me to my chair? Force me to wear this mask like an animal? Yeah, I've seen YouTube. I know what you guys do. Mm -hmm. That is an option, but that seems like a lot of work for me. I'm going to give you one more opportunity to wear your mask. Eh? Off!
Why is it spicy? Miss, you need to move me. This crying baby is driving me crazy. Isn't that your own baby? Yeah. This is honestly the worst job. The things that we have to do, seriously. Like, then quit. I need to pay the bills, okay? Then stop complaining, because it's annoying. You hate this job too, you never do anything. I love my job, I just choose not to work. What? Babe, I'm hungry, let's go eat. Yeah, let's go eat. Okay, what should we eat then? I don't know, what do you want? What do you want? I don't know, 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 what do you want? What the hell do you want to eat, damn it? It doesn't matter now, does it? Yeah, hi. <sighs> Can I help you with, ooh. <gasps> Psst, hey, you're up. Please, it's your turn. I don't think so. I'll give you 15 minutes of my break. Please, I'll give you 30 minutes of mine. Loser does it. Fine. One, two, three, three. Yes! Mother Welcome aboard flight 813 with service to Vancouver. Can you please call for this passenger on the PA? She's not in her seat and we need to give her a medication. It's quite urgent. Of course. With the following passenger, please press the call button. Anita Dick, this is an extremely urgent matter. I need a dick. <laughs> Amma, I'm hungry. Can you make me some food? Yeah. I'm hungry. Can you make me some food? Ay, good day, Zeki. Begupa. Momokushipa. Amma ka dai juke. Different type of flight attendants. Let's go. Here's the drink you asked for. A water? Yes, of course I can get that for you. Where are we flying to again? Can you give 20C a blanket? Were you always on this flight? Yes. Hello, welcome. Hey, psst. Why does everyone keep bowing to me? It kind of feels a little weird. Oh, it's a sign of respect. Koreans like to bow for a lot of things. For example, hello. Goodbye. Thank you. I'm sorry. Another shot, please. Could you teach me how to apologize to a Korean passenger again? Of course! How sorry are you? What do you mean? Like there's different levels of sorry, for example. I'm sorry, but not really. I'm sorry. I'm so 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 sorry. Please forgive me. Sorry boss. I'm sorry I hit you with my car and when you got amnesia that I pretended I was you and stole your money and lover. Tales from the skies! Let's go! Ma'am, are you okay? Can I get you anything? Oh yeah, I just couldn't find the puke bag. If you need it, the puke bags are located in the seat pocket in front of you. Oh, I, I didn't see that, but it's okay. Here. Are you trying to give me vomit? Yeah, can you take this? Sandra, you're the only Korean speaker on board today, so you get to do the announcements. Well, uh, I'm not good with the announcements. You do speak Korean, right? Yes. Excellent! It's really easy, dear. You just need to read this. Okay.
Yabus, hey yo! You're all scaring me. Maybe now I don't want to date a pilot. Sweetie, no! Just like how there's a lot of great guys on the ground, there's a lot of great guys in the air, okay? Or equal amounts of trash on the ground as there is in the air. Lindsay! That's depressing. What? It's true. That's why I also like girls. Excuse me, what? I didn't know you like girls too. Yeah, it's called insurance. Do you have any other questions in regards to sitting in the emergency row? Yes, so where does the door go? Uh, when the door opens, it just slides outwards. But what if someone is outside the door? Why would there be someone outside the door? Like say there was a hiker or something and you open the door, wouldn't they get injured? Ma'am, hypothetically speaking, if there were a crash landing and a hiker happens to be there, they're not going to be worrying about the door. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Moscow where the local... What you looking at? We all made it on time. I swear it was customs, okay? Not to EGY, you come 10 hours before. We will be arriving in New York shortly, where the local time is 5 p.m. You mean 3 p.m. The flight was only three hours. There's a time zone difference, ma'am. So we're traveling into the future? No, we're just in a different time zone. Well, every second of every day, we're advancing into our own future. So if we're in their future, when they're advancing into their future, we have forwarded to their future, right? Bitch, I don't know. Damn. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 14, let's go. So how long is a cruise shift? Why don't we break it down? The longest shift I've ever had with Emirates was from Dubai to Houston, Texas, which was 16 hours. We also need two hours before the flight for our pre-flight security checks and our briefing. And then upon landing, we have to let the passengers leave first. Then we go through customs. Then we get our bags and then we make it to the hotel, which is another, let's say two hours. So in total, it's about 20 hours. Do you still think you can be cabin crew? Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 18, let's go. Do we get any airport perks while we're working? Of course we do! The thing I hate most about airports are these awful long lines. When we're working, we go straight to the front of the line for all the security checks. We get to bypass the customs line. And the valet has our luggage waiting for us. And we go outside where a shuttle like this will be waiting for us to take us to our hotel. Now that's VIP service. I'm so cool. As flight travel starts to reopen, we're going to have to start dealing with security lines again. There's a lot of indicators I can share with you to get through these lines a lot quicker, but I'm gonna share with you the easiest one. Follow the business passengers. If they're wearing a suit, carrying a briefcase, or look like they're going straight from the airport to a business meeting, you're gonna want to stand behind them. They've done this a hundred times. They are quick. Not only that, they've already scanned the lines to see which one is the fastest. Hey, sweetie. Got plans later? Huh? Sorry, ma'am. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 11, let's go! For Emirates, our shift actually starts two hours before the flight. This is because of the pre-flight briefing and security checks. During the briefing, we get to meet our crew for the first time, as well as discuss any important flight information. We also get tested on our emergency knowledge. They go around the table and ask all of us a question. If you get it wrong, it's up to the purser to give you another question. And if you keep getting it wrong, you're off the flight and it's back to training college for you. What is the minimum pressure level for the oxygen tank? 1500 PSI! Correct! Thank God! Jinnya, kukuma mogele? No thanks, Oma. Mume toonika kukuma mogo. I don't want any. Kukuma mogo. Oh, they get out! So gross. Koguma moga. Koguma. 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 What did you make? No! Honey, how do planes work? Well, honey, planes have wings. Uh, like a bird. Gah! You know? Uh, 
with engines that spin and uh, it just, uh, but, uh, you know what? Uh, why don't we ask this uh, nice lady over here? She'll tell you. As we prepare for departure, please put away all of your large electronic devices and put your phone on airplane mode. Can you please explain why we need to do that? It's to ensure that the phone signals don't interfere with the plane's navigational system. So you're telling me that my worthless iPhone 4 can mess with this multi-million dollar plane? <coughs> oh, sorry, I need to get some water. <laughs> you're scared of flying? Yeah, it gives me anxiety. Well, then just don't be scared. What the? You guys, he's kind of flying. What was? It's so easy. Just like, don't be scared anymore. Would you care for any peanuts? Oh, no, I'm allergic to peanuts. Oh, well, maybe if you just keep eating it, you'll get used to it. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part seven, let's go. Did you know that for some of the major airlines, if they require you to relocate, they pay for everything? For instance, for Emirates, all crew members must live in Dubai. They pay for your airfare and guess what? Your new home is for free. Some of these buildings are actually crew living quarters. Your new place will be approximately a thousand square feet. You'll have one or two roommates and it'll come fully furnished. And yes, most of the buildings come with a pool. This was my bedroom with its own private bathroom. What? Rent is how much in Vancouver? Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 12, let's go. During my two and a half years of flying, I've only flown with the same person once. Crew culture is truly one of a kind. You meet your crew for the very first time on each flight and then automatically, you become best friends. This is how important teamwork is for this job. I guess it makes sense because we have to travel the world together. But the funny part is, even after a fun night out like this, most of the time we never see them again. Like that's me, right? Like, I don't remember any of these people. I, I, I don't remember. So by any chance, if any of you guys were in the photos, hit me up. Here are some items that you can ask for on your next long haul flight. Not all airlines carry it and not all cabin crew will give it to you. So remember to be nice. And it never hurts to ask. Super stylish airplane socks. I think a lot of you need this. Earplugs. Toothbrush toothpaste. Ladies, sometimes it's an emergency. We do have feminine products on board. We sometimes carry children's amenity kits to keep them entertained during their flight. Many of you have asked this as well. If you want a second meal, just wait until we finish her service. And then most likely if we have meals left over, we are more than happy to give you a second. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 15, let's go. At the beginning of every flight, have you ever heard this on the PA? Cabin crew, please prepare doors for departure and cross check. What we're doing is arming and disarming the inflatable slides. So like, why is that even important? Well, if there's an emergency landing and the slide's not activated, how are you gonna get out? And if it's not an emergency and the slide is activated, this happens. If we don't do our jobs, we can seriously injure or kill someone on the other side. Also, it can cost up to $30,000 to replace. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 17, let's go. So of course we get free flights when we're working, but what about when we're not? We get to fly anywhere in the world with our industry discount tickets. For Emirates, we have what we call ID90 tickets. We get to fly on Emirates or any of their partners at 90% off the ticket price, unlimited. But there's a catch, these are standby tickets. So if the flight is full, you're not getting on. If you want a guaranteed seat, you can also do that by purchasing an ID50 ticket, which gives you 50% off. Oh yeah, and Emirates gives you one free ticket a year to fly home for free. We will now be boarding families with young children that need extra assistance. You can board now. Would it be okay if my partner boarded first with all of our belongings and the kid and I can board right at the end? You should be boarding together. Well, he obviously needs time to put things away, but I would prefer to let this one run around and tire herself out rather than try to keep her calm for an extra 45 minutes waiting for everyone else to board. Wouldn't it be better for us to board last? That's genius. Yes, you can board later. Okay, team, before we depart, we're gonna do a quick safety quiz. All right, first question. 
what is the pre-flight security check for our halons? Lindsay, how about you tell me the last time you actually had to use a halon and I'll tell you. Yeah, that's what I thought. The needle should be in the green zone. Very good, Sandra. Suck up. Hey, what's a halon? The fire extinguisher? <laughs> right. Uh, so what happens if uh, it's not in the green zone and there's a fire? We all die. We die? Okay, everybody, just shut up! Do your checks. Make sure the needle is in the green zone. If there's a fire, nobody dies, okay? Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part six, let's go. Did you ever hear people say, don't be cabin crew, it's so bad for your health. Well, you know what? It is. Sleep is a luxury, cause seriously, you don't even know what day it is or what time it is or what time zone you're in. And the air is so dry that all your skin start flaking. I already told you guys about the spider veins. I've also never gotten so many nosebleeds in my life. But the worst one of all is being exposed to cosmic radiation. We get exposed to more radiation than nuclear plant workers. So cosmic radiation actually gets sucked in through the North Pole, which is why Emirates limits us to fly this way only twice per month. Hey, what's going on here? I'm gonna be late for my shift. We're just waiting for a random drug and alcohol test. A test? What for? Oh, they do this sometimes, but more frequently now, though, because apparently there's been a rise in crew coming to work, you know? <laughs> or, probably the stress, like I totally get it. Must be holiday travel and people are kind of crazy these days, but yeah, don't worry. It's only going to take like two minutes. You won't be late for your flight. Oh my God, who would do such a thing? Hey, I think there's a customer looking for you. Yeah, okay, cool. Hi, um, are you the girl from TikTok? Oh, yes I am. Oh my God, it's my first fan. Quick, say something funny. You idiot, say something, anything at all. Uh, I came cause I saw from your TikToks you worked here, so. Oh, thank you so much for coming. Okay, bye. No, wait, come back. Where are you going? Let's be friends. I'm so lame. Excuse me, can you please watch my daughter five minutes I go bathroom? Oh yeah, of course. No problem. Can I play with your makeup, please? Yeah, sure, but we need to ask your mom first. We don't need to because my mom said creativity is all about inventing, experimenting, growing, taking risks, making mistakes, and having fun. Oh, wow. Well, sure. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you very much. <gasps> she did it. Excuse me, I'm just wondering when you're going to move us? Is this not your seat? Usually on all my flights, I get two seats because I have a child. Sometimes we do that as a courtesy for parents, uh, but unfortunately, this is a full flight. What? No, I need two seats. Well, you paid for one seat, so... So what? Pardon me? You expect me to sit like this for six hours? If you wanted two seats, you need to pay for two seats. This is a child that doesn't even make any sense. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 13, let's go. Have you ever wondered how our scheduling works? For Emirates, our roster comes out every month. Every crew member is put into a group from one to seven. And then every month you climb the ladder. You're allowed to bid for flights to any destination around the world. If it's your turn to be in group number one, there is a really high chance you will get that destination. And then if it's your turn to be in group number seven, you're on call for the whole month, which is the worst. Once our schedule comes out, which kind of looks like this, you still have the opportunity to swap flights with your other crew members. So if there's any place you want to go or maybe fly with a friend, you can. I need you all to be extra cautious and suspicious with everyone coming in with a child. There has been an increase in child abduction cases, so I need you all to take note. Understood? Different last names. Hmm. I'm going to question the kid because they're usually honest. I'm going to ask a child a question. Where are you going? United States? Hmm, she doesn't really know. United States where? United States of 
Disneyland? United States of <coughs> Disneyland? Welcome to the United States of Disneyland. Make sure you get the Fast Pass. Thank you. Guys, hottie alert, 28th. Let's go. Sir, can I get you something? Not you. Okay, let me know if you need something, okay? because of his uniform. What? I don't get it. It's a uniform effect. Without his uniform, he's a five out of 10 at most. You add the uniform, you add three points. So you see him as an eight. It's just simple math. Then what happens when you're an eight without the uniform? If you were an eight and above, normally you would know. You add a uniform, your panties would fly right off. Sir, you can't eat that on the plane. It has a, a strong smell. But it's so delicious. I'm sorry, sir. It's, it's really upsetting the other passengers. I'm just gonna have to get rid of this, okay? Throw it away! I have to go. Hello, welcome aboard. Hello. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I'm sorry. I should have stopped slower. I was the one not paying attention. I am so sorry. I should be more aware of my surroundings. I'm sorry. Please accept my apologies with these dozen timbits. That is so generous. Let me help you with... Okay, can we please speed up the politeness? We're still bored in it. Jimmy, what are you doing? Hello, Hello, welcome aboard. I have a present for you. Oh my goodness! That was really sweet. Thank you so much. Anna, how can we get upgrade? What is that? I don't know. I've never tried it. This sweet passenger gave it to us. Come on, let me try. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part eight, let's go. Did you know that people are saying that it's easier to get into Harvard than it is to become cabin crew? For example, Emirates Airlines gets about 15,000 applicants a month. This is what I went through to get hired. First, I submitted my application online. Then I attended an open interview day where they checked my height and my reach. Then I was questioned for about five minutes and if they like you, they invite you for a group interview. During the group interview, you get put into smaller groups and you solve problems together. If they do not like your teamwork skills, you're out. And then you need to pass a personality test and an English test. And then it's the final interview. What do you mean you're not accepting me? <laughs> I was cabin crew? Travel tips you might not know about, let's go! If you are flying within, to or from the United States and you were involuntarily bumped off your flight due to an overbooking, don't accept the voucher! Not only are the airlines required to find your alternative flight, but depending on the length of the delay, you are entitled to cash. For domestic flights, you are entitled up to $1,350 cash based on your one-way ticket price. For international flights, the compensation is the same, but the delayed times are different. Go get that cash. Hey. Hi. What you do poor job? Oh, I'm a doctor. Oh, really? Oh, it's not my type.
attention all passengers. Due to bad weather, our flight has been delayed until further notice. She's a liar. Pardon me? I just spoke to my husband in LA and it's clear skies, sunny. Yes, but there's still over 2,500 miles of weather we need to fly through. That makes no sense. It's sunny here, sunny there. As we fly from New York to LA, there's different types of weather in between. It still doesn't make any sense. I don't know what to say to that, I really don't. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part two, let's go. Did you know we get paid in multiple ways? All airlines are different, but this is how I got paid. One, we receive a base salary. So regardless of if we fly or not, we still get paid. Two, we get paid for our flight time. We also get paid an hourly wage based on this bad boy. The moment the wheel chocks come off and come back on is how we calculate our flight time. And number three, my favorite, allowance. During our layover flights, not only do we get to stay in four or five star hotels, we get money. We get anywhere from 30 to $100 a night, cash. It's supposed to be for food, but I spend it all on booze and going out. Sir, I need you to sit down, please. What? No, 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 no. I'm not leaving hide you. I need you to sit down. No, don't come to me. Go to your seat. Go to your seat. It's very dangerous. What are you doing? Don't get your bag. Oh, no, we're landing. Sir, sir, sit down. Sit down. Oh, oh, ah! Excuse me, young lady, can you please put your phone to airplane mode or landing soon? Why? It's for your safety. How? Because your phone can interfere with airplane communications. You're telling me my phone is going to mess with this multi-million dollar airplane? Maybe. You want to risk it? Did you even need to go to college for this job? No, we get training from the airline. That explains a lot. Wait. How much do you make? That's a little personal. I heard you guys only make 40K a year. Is that true? That's just starting. We get benefits. Can you even pay rent with that? No. Let me get this straight. You didn't go to college. You're broke. And you wear unflattering clothes for work. I would love to be a flight attendant one day. Ew, why? They're like servants in the sky. All they do is give you like peanuts and stuff. Really? <coughs> oh my god, you're choking! Help! Help! You called for me, miss? My friend, my friend is choking! Please do something! Oh, I see. Um, peanuts? In the unlikely event that a baby is born on board, what happens to the baby? Some babies are granted citizenship in the country that they are born in. Some babies are granted citizenship in the airspace that they are born in. And some babies will get the citizenship of one of their birth parents. So there is no right answer, it's just the laws of each country. But will this baby get free flights for life? Not really. There have been a handful of instances where airlines have given away free flights. But most airlines are not going to promote this because think about it, it's super dangerous. Trust me when I say you do not want me delivering your baby. <laughs> Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 23, let's go! There's a trending topic right now that I will address based on my personal experience. Do we clean the coffee pots and the coffee machine? I have never personally cleaned it. Then does the ground crew clean it? I don't know, you gotta ask someone who's ground crew, but personally I thought they would clean it or, you know, exchange the pots at least. Is the coffee and tea safe to drink? I drank a minimum of five cups every shift and clearly, I'm still alive. As for my health, I think I'm okay. But for my mental health, may be questionable, but that's from the passengers, not from the coffee. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, part 20, let's go! In order to handle all types of emergencies, cabin crew is required to take security training. There will be some situations where we need to restrain passengers because they've become really violent and we are trained to use this as a last resort. Sometimes we even get help from other passengers. But this will only happen as a last resort. I know one day of security training doesn't sound like enough. We will do whatever is necessary to protect our passengers and our fellow crew. Also, I don't need training because estoy loca. 
Sorry to interrupt whatever you're doing, but there's a passenger choking another passenger in there. What? I'll save you! I'm still gonna see if I can hang out with Captain Eric when we land. I just have one advice for you, okay? Before you start anything, ask him if he's married. Ask him if he's married. What, what, what? Why do I have to ask that? Okay, so for example, you forget to ask if he's married. So in the middle of you watching a movie, his wife calls and obviously you're gonna get upset. So what do you do? You cut a huge hole in his crotch area and the one and only uniform that he has to wear tomorrow to work. And then he'll have the audacity to call you a psycho. And then he'll just make the flight back like really uncomfortable, you know? That was like a really specific example. Here's my receipt. Oh, I'm sorry. Underwear is actually a final sale. What do you mean? I just bought this yesterday. Uh, for hygienic purposes, we actually don't accept returns of underwear. Um, we even stamped it on your receipt for you. Well, they stamped it without telling me. I need to speak to the manager right now. Well, the manager's not in right now, though. I don't care, Missy. I need you to give me a refund right now. Okay, fine. Did you at least try it on at home? <laughs> no. Uh. There's crusties on this. How much are you giving? 40 bucks. You can't use four, it means death in Chinese. It's bad luck. Ah, it's okay, I'll just give 20 bucks then. Are you using old bills? You need to use new ones or it's bad luck. That's okay, I'll just go to the bank and grab new ones. It's Sunday. Well, must be my lucky day then because I can just get rid of my coins. <laughs> some passengers and crew so we decided to restrain him but what if he needs to go to the bathroom yeah yeah, yeah. i gotta go let me free oh well then we just give him a blanket and he can go in his seat there you go huh you're joking right I, i'm being really serious i gotta go number one or number two two Ooh. Ooh. you can't do this where are my rights well, you probably should have thought about that before you decided to punch someone in the face, yeah? Oh no. Ew! Oma, what is that? It stinks! Ojingo, bogle? Oma, seriously, why are you eating that on the plane? It's so embarrassing. Kyujibe, yeah. 저 사람 발에서 냄새가 더 나는데 뭐? 먹어 봐. 맛있어. 응? 아, 너 이제 you're traveling alone. Oh no, I'm traveling with my friends, but they're actually sitting in business. I just couldn't afford it. <laughs> but yeah, they wanted to sit in economy with me and I was just like, oh no, I just didn't want to be that person. Oh, um you know what? The purser's actually on break for another two hours. Why don't you just go to business? Just hang out with your friends for a little bit. But don't tell anybody, okay? I'll get in big trouble. Oh my god, thank you! We giving away free business class seats now? No. That's not what I just saw, though. It's just a special situation and it doesn't really concern you. Well, my situation is that I'm uncomfortable, so butt me up. No, sorry, I can't do that. Oh, but I believe you can. What would you like for me to tell your purser and lose your job? Captain, I have a drunk passenger threatening my life permission to restrain. Excuse me, may I please get a coffee? 
Of course, cream and sugar? Just sugar, thanks. Here's your coffee and some sugar. No sugar, I need a sweet and low. Oh, I'm sorry, I'll get that for you right away. Here's your sweet and low. I need two packets. Man, my coffee's gonna get cold. Oh, I'll get that for you right away. Here's another pack for you. Where's my stir stick? I gave you one earlier. I dropped it last time when you brought me the wrong sugar. Pay attention. I'll get that for you right away. I knew it, it's cold now. Bring me another one. Hello, can I get you anything to drink? Yes, uh, what you have? We have coffee, tea, juices, soda, alcoholic beverages. Ooh. Puri? Oh, it's all free. Uh, I have a Sprite today. Uh, white wine today. Uh, a vodka today. <laughs> oh, ma, you don't even drink. Yeah. <laughs> Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. Baby shark, do 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 do. No, I'm just gonna sit in this empty seat. Thanks. Jimmy, good job. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, it's your turn to check the air quality in each cabin and then make sure to give it to the captain, okay? Check the air quality and give it to the captain. Okay! Hi, Captain. I have air quality sample for you. <laughs> what? Oh shit, I need to pee. Damn, these passengers are freaking sleeping. Maybe I can just hold it. We have two hours to landing. Yeah, I'm gonna hold it. Nope, nope, can't hold it. Oh, they're waking up. Oh no, they're not up. Damn, I'm so thirsty too. I can't drink water right now. Wait, if I drink a cup of water right now, it'll take me 30 minutes to pee it out. No, 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 not a good idea. No, not worth it, not worth it. I'm just gonna wait. Damn, I'm so thirsty though. No, 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 I can't risk it. Seriously though, what is their problem? Okay, just distract yourself by singing a song. Don't go chasing waterfalls. No way, you idiot! You can't sing about water right now! I'm such a dumbass. Oh no, okay, fuck this shit. Excuse me. dangerous. Where are your parents? Go back to your seat, okay? Don't tell my kid what to do. Ma'am, you can't have your child running around the aircraft unsupervised. It's very dangerous. He's a kid. Kids run around. Ma'am, it's actually for your child's safety. I know the seatbelt sign is turned off, but we do get unexpected turbulence sometimes, and if that happens, your kid's gonna go flying. I've flown thousands of times, and I can assure you that it's never been a problem. If you don't care, I don't care. Welcome aboard. Welcome.
welcome. Good morrow, my lady. Okay. That was weird. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Is that thing real? Why, yes. Tis a real sword. How did you get that on the plane? Ye lords, at ye gate, let thy through. Oh, my God. Of course they put the crazy lady in my section. I don't think so, lady. Stop with the lies. I tell ye truth. Okay, why would you bring a sword on the plane? A lady must always protect thyself in case of any danger. We ain't living in no renaissance times, okay? You know what? I don't even care. Just don't hurt anybody, okay? Hey, watch this. Hey! Why, you want more? Hey, crazy lady. Yes, my lady? You want to trade? It's time for boarding, so I'm just headed to the gate. Excuse me, you dropped something. That's trash. Oh, well, the garbage can's just right here. Great, so do your job and put it there. I'm back. Oh my God, so this cleaner person had the audacity to tell me to do her job and pick up trash off the floor. I know, like she should be thanking me. I'm like giving her something to do. Oh my God, I know, like get a real job then. <laughs> Anyways, listen, I'm going to be arriving in Milan at 6 p.m. So don't be late, okay? Did you say you're going to Milan? Yeah. They just announced a gate change to gate A57. But that's at the other end of the airport. Oh, you better hurry then. You're going to miss your flight. Hey, I gotta go. This is the final boarding call for flight to Milan at gate B10. All passengers must board now. Final call. Yeah, we upgrade our swing. Let's Mom, I'm not a flight attendant anymore. I can't get free upgrades. Ni chingu der ania? I don't know all the flight attendants in the world. Jom buro pa, bolu jana. Okay, okay, I'll go ask. Hello. Hey, how's it going? Sorry, Mom, they said no. Anyway, ni chbe. Ah, what? I'm buro ba che. Things you didn't know about cabin crew. Secrets of the aircraft lavatory door. Let's go! Did you know as crew, we have the power to control the lavatory door? That's right. For instance, in this lavatory, you see that sign right there? This actually opens up. There's a flap. And then there's a sliding mechanism underneath that will help you lock and unlock the lavatories at any time. So why would we even want to open up a toilet door? Number one, people get stuck in it, mostly kids, but... Adults too. Number two, for emergencies. If someone is passed out in there, we gotta get you out. And for those people that decide to use these facilities for other activities such as, uh, you know, you know, yeah. <whistles> Just wanna let you know that we probably would not open the doors, but Whoa! What's that? Mademoiselle, is this your ring? No, no, that, that's not mine. <gasps> oh my goodness, this is real! This must be worth over 2,000 euros! Can I see it? Oh wow, it's really pretty! Hey, how about I uh, sell it to you? No, I, I can't afford 2,000 euros. <laughs> oh, how about I give you a deal? I'll sell it to you for 1,000 euros. You sell it for two. You'll make a thousand. We both win. Oh. Well, I have like 300 Canadian. Deal. Cool. Thanks. Merci beaucoup. Sucker. Idiot. Wow, what a beautiful house. Why wasn't this sold in 20 years? As the realtor, I have a responsibility to disclose that over 20 years ago, a family of five was brutally murdered and the murderer chopped them up into pieces and ate them before killing himself. Uh, residents have claimed that this property is haunted, but who believes in haunted houses anyways, yeah, right? I guess that happened so long ago, but oh my God, what is that? Playing around. Just think of her as like a friendly neighborhood spider, you know? Just always hanging around. Yeah, no, I don't think I want this house. <laughs>
Listen, take the house today and I'll knock off $50,000 from the purchase price. I'll take it. Check out that flight attendant. She's cute. She's okay. She's checking you out right now. She's not looking at you. She's just looking Shh, at the plane. She's coming. Would you like a snack? Yes, please. Thank you. We all get that, I'm gonna ask her out. Yeah, I mean, go for it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. <laughs> you know what? I saw this one TikTok of this guy picking up flight attendant with a note. I'm gonna do that. You know what? I'll bet you 20 bucks she's gonna say yes. Fine, you'll run. <sighs> Will you go on a date with me? Yes or no? Get ready to pay up because this is golden and oh, oh here she comes excuse me miss I just have something for you thank you trash any more trash, trash. thank you i'm lost oh don't worry sweetie i'll help you find your parents what's your name genie what a beautiful name genie do you remember where you were sitting yeah it was dark and cold and I was all alone. Okay, I'm just going to ask my friend for help. Just wait one second, okay, sweetie? Hey, psst, psst. Do you know where this kid was sitting? What kid? Uh, I swear, she was just here. Okay, well, let's just check. Um, no, we have no kids on this flight. No, th there was a kid here with pigtails and a pink panther doll. Oh, no, wait, there is a kid on this flight. Oh, no. In cargo, though. Cargo? Oh, no, that's so sad. And her name was Jeannie. Such a cute name. Jeannie. Right, right. See ya. I'm not wet. There's big dogs and baby dogs and big cats and baby cats, but how come there's big planes, but no baby planes? Oh, uh, oh, flight attendant 언니한테 물어봐. Miss flight attendant. Yes, yeah, sweetie. You know there's big dogs and baby dogs and big cats and baby cats, and there's big planes, but how come there's no baby planes? Uh, why are you asking? My mom told me to ask you. Your mom. <clears throat> well, here at Hawaiian Airlines, we don't have any baby planes because we always pull out on time. Huh? If you don't know what that means, ask your mom. Thank you so much for watching him, okay? It's just gonna be 30 minutes. It's just an emergency at work and I have to go. You no, know I know nothing about babies, right? He pooed, he peed, he's fed, he's good to go, okay? I swear he'll be no problems, okay? Thank you, I love you, I'll be back soon. Okay then. <laughs> hey, Baba. Himo loves you. <laughs> Do -do. Hmm? What are you doing? Stop that. Stop it! <laughs> oh, hell no. Nuh-uh. No! It's okay. You almost got you. You almost got you. <laughs> Hello, what can I get you for dinner? Yes, what does the chicken come with? The chicken comes with rice, broccoli, carrots, and peas. Okay, I'll take the chicken, but without the peas. Our meals are actually pre-made. We can't customize it like that. Oh, but, but I can't eat peas. Do you have an allergy? Yes. Okay, then I recommend the lamb. There's no peas in that. Well, no, I can't eat lamb. Okay, then how about get the chicken and just not eat the peas? I don't understand. You should be able to accommodate special meals. If you needed a special meal, you just had to order it before the flight. <laughs> Maybe I'll just starve to death. Okay, that's your choice. No, wait, I'll take the chicken. Nope. Forgot about my belt. <laughs> Forgot about my watch. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. You want me to take this all off? 
Oh, coins, oh, coins, what else is there? Oh, screws, oh, of course the screws are gonna do this. Oh, I was looking for this. What, what is this? Oh my, can you please hurry up? I'm gonna be late for my flight. All right, I got nothing else. That's strange, I don't have anything else, I swear. You screws. But let me try this. Wait, I have a pacemaker. Did I have to tell you that? Can someone turn it off? What are you doing drying my son's underwear with the AC? Why? Because it's wet. He had an accident. Oh, chill out. I wash it in the toilet. You didn't bring an extra pair in your carry-on maybe? If I did, I wouldn't be doing this now, would I? Uh, maybe your son can go without underwear just for the next couple hours? Ew, no. That's so gross and uncomfortable for him. What's gross and uncomfortable is you having the entire plane inhaling your son's poopery. That was rude. Hey! Whee! I'm filing a complaint. What is your name? Hmm. My name's Lindsay! Hello, may I please confirm the age of your child? Hi, my daughter just turned two. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, all children over the age of two are required to wear a mask for the entire flight. Oh, I know. Um, I, I tried, but she just keeps crying and taking it off. Due to the severity of the current pandemic, there are no exceptions. She needs to wear a mask. Well, what do you want me to do? I can't reason with her. She's a baby. And if I just keep it on her face and hold it, she'll suffocate and she'll just scream bloody murder. So what do you want me to do? You will both be removed from the flight if she doesn't wear a mask. You're gonna kick us off the flight? She's a baby. What happens if we don't wanna go? If you don't, I need to call security. You're gonna call security on me and my baby? No, no, I'm not moving. Security. Can one of you guys please do duty free? I'm so tired. Mm -mm. We're all tired. It's your turn, okay? Oh, fine. Duty free, anyone? Duty free. Hi, over here. Um, so what is your favorite fragrance? Yes, sir. Would that be perfume or cologne? Perfume. Certainly, sir. Well, uh, this is actually one of my favorite scents. It's uh, very light and fresh and just makes you feel great. That That's great. I'll take it. You keep it. P part, part of and how many other crew members do you have working on this flight today? Uh, there's like, I don't know, like four, 14 of us. Great. I'll take 13 more fragrances. Just have the crew pick whatever they want, and then just let me know how much it is. Oh, no, no, sir, we, we cannot accept that. Please, it's just to show my appreciation. I know how hard you all work. You have always been so kind to me on all of my flights. Please, just enjoy it. Thank you so much. What do you mean you're kicking me off my flight? I'm sorry, ma'am. The flight is overbooked, so I booked you in for the next available flight. No, 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 no. I fully paid for my flight, okay? I have a confirmed ticket, confirmed reservation, and the plane left without me. How is that even fair? What am I gonna do about my plans? I have to change all of my plans just because you guys- Since there's a huge time gap flight, for I your next flight, flight we'll be compensating you $1,550. Always me, excuse me, what? $1,550 for the inconvenience. What? Well, 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 why would you do that? Well, it's- Actually, the law, your next available domestic flight is over two hours arrival delay, so we need to compensate you 400% of your one-way ticket fare. And I calculated yours is $1,550, which is our maximum payout. Oh, well, I already knew that because I follow Jeannie Weenie. Honestly, if I was you, I'd be totally upset too. Like, being bumped totally sucks. So... Let me see if there's something else I can do. <gasps> Why don't I upgrade you to first class because it's available on the next flight? Okay, well, thank you for bumping me. Hi, I'm here for a free mini makeover. Sure, you can choose one service. You can do your foundation, brows, eyes, or lips. Can I do my skin, please? And we're done. Thank you. 
Hi, I'm here for a mini makeover for my brows. Yes, of course. Thank you. Hi, I'm here for a mini makeover for my eyes. Uh, yes, sure. Thank you. Hi, I'm here for a mini lip makeover. Okay, but do you want to take off your sunglasses? Oh, uh, no thanks. Things you didn't know about cabin crew, the forbidden cockpit. Let's go. To all the influencers that keep requesting to take photos in the cockpit while we're in mid-flight, it's not gonna happen. So please stop asking. We are crew, and you know how hard it is for us to even get in. When cabin crew want to access the cockpit, there are strict procedures that we need to follow. Why? I'm just going to say it. It's to prevent psychos from hijacking the plane. You can only open the doors from inside the cockpit. Airlines will have their own strict procedures. I was trained to first clear the area, make sure that no passengers are around. If there is a lavatory close to the cockpit, we will first make sure it's vacant and then keep it locked open. Another crew member will remain on guard for you to ensure that no one else enters your space. And then we knock on the cockpit door, smile for the cameras, and maybe they'll let you in. Same thing for when we leave the cockpit. We have to make sure everything is clear. So we check the people, check the camera, check with the crew. Everything is good. We leave. Hey, can I take a photo in the cockpit? No! Miss, can you please hand me that glass on the floor? I'm not done with that. We're actually landing soon, so I just need to collect all the glass cups. Did you not hear me? I'm not finished with this. Are you able to finish it now so I can just take the glass? No, I'm not able. I don't understand why this is such a big deal. Well, it's for the safety of uh, yourself and for all the other passengers. In case of a rough landing, we don't want to glass flying everywhere. I'm going to guarantee you that that's never going to happen. I'm a frequent flyer and you're the first person to ever give me a problem. Okay, how about this? I'll just go to economy. I'm going to grab you a plastic cup and then you can just transfer your drink into that. You know what, forget it. I'm done having this conversation with you. Just, let me just figure this out. Here's your cup back. Please don't breed. Hey, I have to be on this flight. I'm sorry, sir. This flight has been canceled and I'm currently in the process of rebooking all 200 passengers. Okay, then rebook me right now. I'll be happy to help you, sir, but I need to help everyone else that's been waiting in line here first. If you don't mind just getting in line when it's your turn, I'm sure we can figure something out for you. <laughs> I'm in first class? Do you have any idea who I am? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we have a passenger here at gate 62 who doesn't know who he is. If you can help identify him, please come to gate 62. I'm sorry, sir. You need to get in line for that, too. Can you turn off the lights? Okay, just let me put some lotion on first. Yeah, okay. I think your lotion's gone bad. No! This is my mug with clay mask. It removes sebum and gunk from my pores. I don't know what that means. So that's lotion. No! This is my green tea toner. It hydrates and preps my face for the lotion. Okay, so you're done after that? No, silly. This is the hyaluronic acid water essence. Essence of what? Essence of youth! It replenishes deep moisture into my skin. You already did a mask. That was to cleanse. This is to hydrate. Forget it. I'm going to bed. Hey, good night. <laughs> oh, what? Sorry, did I wake you? What was that for? Was the timer to take off my mask. Great, so now you're done. Oh, now I put on lotion. Okay, how do you even know if any of this stuff works? Well, remember the time you tried to guess my age and you said 29? Yeah. I'm 39. Excuse me, it's way too hot on this plane. Can you please turn down the temperature? No, 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 mm -mm. I was just going to ask you to turn up the heat because I'm freezing. Well, we set the plane temperature to around 22 to 24 degrees. 
which is usually a comfortable temperature for everyone on the plane. Oh, comfortable? Okay, why don't you tell that to my nipples, huh? Do they look comfortable to you? Oh, is this what we're doing now? We're battling it out? Okay, yeah. You want to see something? Look at my pits! It's too hot! Uh, we don't have any blankets on this flight, um, but how about I lend you my jacket? I can bring that to you, and uh, how about a nice ice-cold beverage to help cool you down? I am not wearing someone else's clothes. You think a cold beverage is going to help this? The easiest solution is for you to just turn up the heat, okay? And if not, fine. I'll be filing a complaint. No, turn down the temperature or I'm filing a complaint. So pretty much a lose-lose situation for me. Ah! Oh no! Happy Chinese New Year's, everyone. So for this year, I decided to only give red pockets to those that are not married. Why not married? I'm transferring my luck so you can find forever love this year. I think it's the married ones that need the luck. Anyways, like, who cares? You should, because there's money in those red pockets. What? Well, I'm single, so give me that. I'm single. Didn't you just get married to Veronica last month? Yeah, but we're currently flying to a country that doesn't recognize same-sex marriages, so technically, I'm still single. So I'll take that. <laughs> so I know I've been married for 40 years, but recently I found out that my husband was cheating on me, and quite frankly, I don't want to be a divorcee, you know, and die alone. So we're testing out this like open relationship thing for now. So technically, I'm single, right? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> to give you guys real money on this flight attendant salary besides it's not what it's inside that counts it's the outside red envelope that's going to bring you guys luck this year guys hello my friends i am back from my vacation and during that time i went on several flights as a passenger usually nothing ever happens when I fly as a passenger, but this time something did. And this story is actually going to confirm that I'm actually not a very nice person. I was flying on an aircraft that looked similar to the photo behind me over here. You see this little ledge part above the seat right here? The passenger in front of me kept putting her trash, her drinks, her, her food, whatever she didn't want, on that little tiny ledge. In the event of turbulence, there's a 50% chance these items will fall to her or to me. The crew were amazing though because they would come to the cabin all the time to pick up the trash so there wasn't really enough time for any of this stuff to happen. But of course she kept doing it, putting stuff on there. And the crew finally came and was like, ma'am, no need to put it up there, please leave it down here. We'll come pick up all the items you don't want and of course you can ring the bell anytime and we'll remove it for you. Now it's finally time to land. The cabin crew have finished all their checks we're all buckled in, ready to land, and what does she do? She puts a coffee cup on that ledge. So I was looking at that cup, thinking about what the chances were that that was going to spill on me. Well, if the plane is descending and there is a cup on top, guess what? The cup is going to go this way, and there's a 100% chance it's going to hit her. So I see the coffee cup slowly getting closer to her head. And at that moment, I swear, I had one of those genie angels and genie devils appear. So the genie angel was like, oh, you know, be the good person. You can stop this. It takes two seconds. You just have to remove it. Nothing's ever going to happen. And the devil genie was like, yo, she was inconsiderate AF. She was told not to do it. She still did it. And you know what? This is the only way she's going to learn her lesson, right? If it was hot coffee, for sure, I would have done something. But it wasn't. So <laughs> the devil won. The plane landed, the coffee fell all over her, she got up, she screamed, ah, drinks fell over me, and then all the cabin crew were yelling at her, ma'am, sit down, it's not safe, sit down. And the whole time, I was just watching. Yeah, I'm going to hell. Oh, no, 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 don't do this to me. You can't all be sick. I'm here by myself. What am I supposed to do? I can't work by myself. Don't worry, you won't be alone. Uh, I have some friends that owe me a favor, so I already sent them to you. And they should be there any minute now. I think they're here. Oh, oh great. 
Listen, I should mention that they're actually K-pop idols. You've heard of Ghost Nine, right? They have zero flight attendant experience, but you know what? Help is better than no help at all, right? Okay, I love you. Have fun. Bye. Bye. Thank you so much for coming on short notice. There's no time for training, so uh, let's just do the best we can. Let's go. Hey, look where I'm at now with climax. The body get to get die, you're my master, make it tall like. So you be a master of this too. What are you doing? He wanted me to rap. Yes, I did ask for a rap. See? A chicken wrap for lunch? We'll get that for you right away. I'm I'm so sorry. So sorry. So sorry. Excuse me. Can I help you? It hurts. Uh. Good job. The world is wide. Men are wide. Women are wide. You can meet good men. Don't be sad. What are you doing? She's heartbroken. <gasps> She's not having a heartbreak. She's having a heart attack. Help! Is there a doctor on board? Anybody? Help! Is there a doctor on board? Please. I know it's you! Come and help me! I'm actually not a doctor, I'm a TikToker. This whole plane is useless. Excuse me, uh, my TV is broken. Oh, yeah, it's broken. Well, what am I supposed to do for entertainment for the rest of the night? I know what to do! Do this when I say now! Okay. She we are my show! She we are the now! So now everyone, take off your seatbelts and get out! No.